So now we'll open it up for questions for me, for Linda, for Drew, Frank, Lori. I'm going to help keep our names up there so you can remember who's who. Um, so if anybody has any questions. Yeah. Okay, in the back. Yeah, I'm Ray. Ray Stoga. I talked to you yesterday, Pete. And yeah. by the way, we should give Pete a, a hand. For yeah. yeah. You did say that you did yours already, correct? I did treat yeah. mine already. Now I just that was... want to say, let's see what we can do to get everybody else. Okay, right. I talked to you. Are you going to now call True Green on my behalf and give them my address and send it out? Or do you no, want you're going to sign up. Everybody, I've got a sign-up list that's coming through. Actually, that's just a, um, a contact list. But we've got forms here to sign up immediately if you want to sign up okay. right now. And what he'll do is start taking measurements within the next you know, yeah. week or two. We have two weeks. Yes. And then, uh, then we'll start treating that. And they will build it. us individually. Yes, right? you'll be built individually. Okay, fine. But then for the uh, charity tree, we're going to have to figure out a way to, yeah, to, to do that. It's probably going to be for yeah, but it, it'll be closest in proximity to the to the largest donors. It's okay. probably not sure we're going to have to do that. So okay, but right now you're going to fill out these forms that the Frank's got. And we're going to if you're interested, right? Well, you have to figure out how to get your money back. You have to figure out how to get the money back if you're a donor. Okay. And probably will I'd just like to kick it back into the fund. So it would only be to treat the tree. So next in two years, if we get money back, we could do that. Oh, do that. Hey, uh, by the way, when, when will we do this? Out. When will this program uh, start uh, start treating the trees? The 25th. We were talking. We're oh, okay. In two weeks. Okay, fine. How long does it take to, to inject the tree? What's the, how long does it take to inject the tree? Sell the water bottles out there. On average, it, it, the trees are very temperature sensitive, and then you know, with the additional dryness, what we've been experiencing over the last month, uh, say uh, an average, like say, 22 inch tree, it may take somewhere between 10 to 15 minutes. So, and it, 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 like I said. It, the trees are very sensitive. When you've got a cloudy day, they kind of take a little bit more slower. And when you've got a nice, beautiful sunshine out, they're very active. You know, I want to bring up that watering thing, which I didn't bring it up for ever. Not even uh, you, should be, you, should be, you should be watering your trees, your private trees, parkway trees. If you, you're to love trees, I, I, again, get a little, we get these community programs like this and the love of trees, and I just watch them bake away all summer long and people tell me they love their trees and they ask if they've ever once watered their tree, their 25 year old, and they says never once. I'm like, how do you love your tree never water? Uh, mind boggling. But they should be watering these trees prior to his uptake too. That will help too. He's going to have a lot of trouble getting this uptake and it will take a little bit longer to get them up there. So I, uh, you should be watering your trees anyways. Um, pay attention to the news when we are in a drought. He said officially we're not, I mean, we, you can you can kind of tell. You look at your lawn, you can see. You know when we're when plants need water. You know when your vegetable plants need water. Yeah. Wouldn't you think a tree would be wanting that water too? So, it, regardless of EAB water trees, especially when we get in, we're gonna uh, to this when we start losing trees and plant newer trees. These trees are gonna need water, and it's, we're gonna see a mortality rate that's gonna cost the village a lot of money because people will not water. But again, watering prior to the uh, treatment is going to be very helpful. So I get watering now if you're thinking of doing it. Well, so we're talking about watering. How, if, how do you water your tree? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Set your hose out and how long you leave it? Yeah. I, got I, I do it like a little Yeah. Um, There's an actual, I've got the document from the University of Illinois on how to water. Yeah, there's tons of information on how to do it. From an okay. oscillating sprinkler to, it, it, I, see, I don't care. I, I think it's needed. If you just let your hose out there and yeah. you turn it off, I'd love it, but it's, a, it's more wasteful. An oscillating sprinkler over the, the drip line, I, I guess okay. the, the better part of that question is people think that you water near the trunk. It, it needs to water to the drip line, to the farthest okay. reaching point of the, of the tree, which is, if you're talking about a parkway tree, you just water the entire parkway with an oscillating sprinkler, and you can't go wrong. Okay. And, and over watering, I, I I would like to. I'd like to have that challenge sometimes. So I, so I can over water once, so I can see what it does. Uh, <laughs> the responsibility for water on the We have Percy High School on one side and the courts across the board on the other side, and there's all those. That's, that's, that's 
city issue when I would say. Wait, is that, is it part courts Russell with? No, it's a football town, it's just that it's not a trend. So it comes down to water. Yeah. yeah. And it's the side is the other side is her side. That's not our subject. That's not our subject. So it's probably. Take care of those three. You have to contact District 214. Yeah, we think that. that are they Hersey's? No, property adjacent. Well, I, I mean adjacent to the, the city trees adjacent. Then they, yeah, they, 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 they become. We're treating people like they, we're treating them as a, a resident, just as if a, a more devastating school than Hersey mm -hmm. is uh, St. Byer. They're loaded around there with that, and we're working with that. And uh, they, they are no different than a resident. So if they treat 50 trees, they're going to get a rebate $50 to each one of those trees. So we're, we're, we're being very consistent, whether it's a school or a private school or something. Yeah, they call for us. Yeah, they're part of the program too. Well, for us, we've got Centennial. I'm say that they aren't doing it. We've got Centennial Park, and we also have Riley Elementary School. So I had to go and speak to District 21, <coughs> to their school board, to get them to try to treat the trees. They joined in in our program under everything we were doing. Mm -hmm. And they treated their trees over at the school. However, the park district is handling it on their own. And I think the Arlington Heights Park District is treating all the trees in the park. Not all, but they're picking out their, their best ones. They're one. picking out their best ones and stuff. We're, we're, so we're working trees. with uh, the ones that are in the parkway. We're, we, uh, we're treating those trees. So you guys <coughs> might have, I mean, also. where I went to District 21, I spoke and asked for money for Riley School. We have about five or six different elementary schools in District 21, and I think they're actually taking it on a case-by-case -case basis for the other schools. There's an awful lot of footwork that has to go into this. Uh, I, don't have, I don't have a parkway tree that's an ash, but I think I might have one in my backyard. How do I know if it is or not? I have no idea. If you sign up, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll check come out, we'll check out. Yeah, okay. and, and the rate does apply. To, you know, the, the whole aspect of the, the discount rate is that the whole aspect of the discount rate is that uh, once we implement a project, the fact that we can keep a truck and, and a team in, in the neighborhood to complete the project all in one foul swoop allows the efficiencies, which allows us to offer it in a lower rate. It's just like anything uh, in life when you're buying bulk. Um, so you, you can just sign up, so indicate. You can sign up and just evaluate my yard. Correct, right? If, if I'm not finding a, a, a Nash in your parkway, I can assume that there's one in your backyard. I'll yeah. no, probably not find the door because I'm afraid of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, she's afraid of you. Yeah. you guys? Uh, we're afraid. Um, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Um, the question you've mentioned about like the percentage of ash trees in the neighborhood that we kind of get like top heavy on ash trees in some neighborhoods, what's our percentage? I mean, you talked about the 200 or something. Uh, uh, you guys know? are at, you've got the there's, there's a good percentage of them. Um, I've got that. So you talked about balancing. So in some ways, the ones that are probably the infested badly are the ones that are going to be the most likely to get hit by the ones that are going to be the most likely to get hit by the ones that are going to be the most likely to get hit by the ones that are going to be the most likely to get hit by the ones that are going to be the most likely to get hit by the ones that are going to be the most yeah, well, this is only part of what this is all we're talking about. Right. So have any of the trees that are ash in our neighborhood been identified as taken, taken down too far I don't think, think so. Yeah, we've got a few. I think this is just showing it's got to be back. Oh, yeah, we have that. We have that. Oh, just the part right now. We still want to give the people the other thing. Because of this people's choice program, we're trying to give people the ability to still treat it. So we're trying to give people the ability to still treat it. We're not taking them down unless they're over 50 percent. So, from a financial point of view, and I know that you don't have a real estate agent there, um, I wonder about the um, about thinking of the, treating the trees as a kind of an investment in the future oh, sale of your house, yeah. and not just your house, but you know the other houses on the, the, no, that there's, on the street. Oh, there's so much studies done. That you're, you're talking about having. Mature Resale, value oh, of the, the, the average is 15%. That's, I, I've been hearing that for a long time. And 
the house values are about 15 percent higher than a, a same equal house with no trees on them. There's no it, question the value of trees. So when, I mean, at beyond. that point, we're not talking about $100, $200, $300 that we've saved if we're selling the house and um, we're getting much more, 15 percent of whatever the house is. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Just suggestions. Peter will have to figure this out too. But uh, is, since you're doing it on a one by one basis, Frank's going to give you the form that's pre filled out. It sounds like a pretty nice little deal you did there. I want to see that, by the way. Uh, yeah, yeah, how are you guys? Thanks, Ashley. <laughs> wow, yeah. All right, this gentleman's uh, This is This $50 is a one time stipend, correct? Per right. tree. Okay, but we are being asked to pay for these trees every two years for as long as we live. In perpetuity, of course, you gotta think about that. What guarantees do we, and I'm gonna ask you, um, this uh, reduced rate, how long does that last? Well, uh, I can answer that question by saying for, for this particular period of time, it, it will last through the duration of the project. And when I, when I come up, sir, I, if, if you have three trees, I itemize all three trees, and you'll, you'll see them all by size and by individual mm -hmm. price. And then, <laughs> and with that, you know, you can take a look at it, and if you decide, you know, I don't want to do this one on, on this side of the street, uh, that's, that's completely your choice. I think of it this way. That was the one thing that all the trust, one of the trustees sat there and said when they came and they said, you know what, the people, they created the People's Choice Award or People's Choice Rebate, and they said it was $50, they sat there and said, this is a one-time rebate. It will last until 2013, October, I think. October of next year. October of next year. I have a question about the strategy of this. And what I'm hearing is that you have the project to inject trees to make sure that they can survive for two years. You also have trees that you are going to identify that have no chance of success and must be removed. Are you removing those trees first, or are we injecting the trees first? Because there's a project management issue that I'm seeing that I'm not hearing clarity on. Are you getting rid of the trees that have no hope of survival first, and then injecting the trees that have a hope of survival so that those trees will be viable, or are we playing a catch-22 where I'm going to save my tree but my neighbor who didn't save the tree and his tree is going to get cut down is now reinfecting my tree in three years. Well, no, if you get the product. It doesn't, I'm trying to get a logic in how we're managing the project. Well, first of all, another huge problem that we have with, uh, with the EAB is these external indicators Frank was alluding to, such as uh, woodpecker damage and the subaconic sprouts and these little in, these external indicators that we use to detect how bad it has. Uh, unfortunately, the critters have been in the tree for two years. So we've got a big problem of saying, hey, is it infected? It, these trees can all be infected. There's a real good chance that every single tree in our guys is infected. As a matter of fact, it's, as I'm saying, it, it, it is that daunting. They all have it. However, we're catching it in these stages and these products through, uh, it was Deb McCullough's work that you've shown there, showed that if you get if you treat these trees in this stage, the viability that we're seeing right now, even if they're in there, this this product is extremely lethal to these to the larvae. Extremely lethal. If you take one of the trees, they it's great. The, the, the problem is making sure that the product gets into the tree to get to them. So I'm looking at our town and saying that if you have got full crown, treat it or yeah, you know, treat it. If you love them, treat them right now. And I'm not going to be out there looking to take down those healthy trees. I'm waiting to see who's going to want to treat them. It's going to help us all. Well, I think it's a selling moratorium on taking trees out. But shouldn't you first be going through and identifying all those trees that have absolutely no hope in getting rid of them? So oh, sure. Not well, really of course. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Okay. So you've already well, done again, that. Again, we've just completed our first round of the, our debt tree survey, okay. which, again, we're up and including up to 50% debt. Okay. And okay. Uh, believe it or not, we're in pretty decent shape. And there's hundreds and hundreds that have.